After Russia and Ukraine, now Iran and Israel have involved in the war situation. Iran launched an extensive drone and missile attack on Israel in response to an earlier strike on its consulate in Syria. Over 200 drones and missiles were sent towards Israeli positions, but the majority were intercepted. The relationship between Iran and Israel has undergone significant changes over time. Initially, Iran was among the first countries in the Middle East to recognize Israel upon its establishment in 1948, but this dynamic altered drastically after the 1979 Iranian Revolution. So let's understand all this under certain heads. First, early relations, that is from 1948 to 1979. Following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Iran, which did not participate in the conflict, recognized the newly formed state of Israel. Iran, then under the rule of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, was the second Muslim-majority country after Turkey to establish diplomatic ties with Israel. This relationship was part of Israel's periphery doctrine, aiming to align with non-Arab states in the region against common adversaries mainly Arab nationalist regimes. Second, the 1979 Iranian Revolution. The overthrow of the Shah and the establishment of an Islamic Republic transformed Iran's foreign policy. The new regime led by Ayatollah Khomeini viewed Israel as a little Satan and positioned itself against what it saw as US and Israeli interference in the Middle East. Consequently, Iran cut all diplomatic ties with Israel and shifted its alignment towards supporting Palestinian causes. Third, post-revolution tensions and proxy engagements. The geopolitical rivalry has since been characterized by indirect confrontations. Both countries have engaged in a shadow war involving cyber attacks, proxy conflicts and influence operations. Notably, Iran has been implicated in supporting groups like Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza, while Israel and the US consider terrorist organizations. Meanwhile, Israel has conducted operations to sabotage Iran's nuclear program, including cyber attacks like the Stuxnet virus in 2010. Fourth, recent developments. Tensions have escalated recently with Iran's April 12 attack on Israel, stated to be a retaliation for Israeli airstrikes on an Iranian consulate in Syria, which killed several Iranian commanders. Despite the use of drones and missiles, these attacks reportedly did not result in significant Israeli casualties but did damage a military facility. And fifth, regional impact and global reactions. The ongoing conflict heightens risk of broader regional instability evidenced by the October 7, 2023 Hamas attack in Israel and subsequently activities by Yemen's Houthis in the Red Sea. The international community, particularly the United States under President Joe Biden, remains closely involved balancing support for Israel's defense rights with broader diplomatic considerations, especially in an election year. President Biden reaffirmed unwavering support for Israel, promising a coordinated diplomatic response with G7 nations. The international community, including the EU, UK, France and others, condemned Iran's attack with the UN Security Council convening an emergency meeting to address the situation. India expressed serious concerns urging de-escalation and a return to diplomacy.